The Chocolate Springs is a very, um, well, it's a very unique fusion of different cultures that mm -hmm. has kind of been evolving for you, you know, right. for many years. Yeah. As you said, you started yeah. in the Japanese kitchen yeah. or restaurant yeah. when you were 16. Maybe you could just yeah. explain briefly your, yeah, your kind uh, of Yeah, Suji Uchiyama, and it was a great, I mean, while in high school, and that's why I think it's nice if people can have extra, you know, have to go to school and learn in school a certain discipline and then but also if people can be exposed to other um, projects, other things outside of the normal curriculum, which was working at restaurants, some people landscaping and like doing that. Um, so I was fortunate to have, get exposure to another culture and found that I really enjoyed it. And um, then ended up going to University of Rochester for one year and didn't find anything else that I wanted to study as much. So um, ended up transferring to the Culinary Institute of America so that's where I first learned how to um, temper chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, and I always loved to eat it since I was a kid, and I'll show you in a minute. I have a mug that says, I love chocolate, that what I did when I was in fifth grade. So really, I you still have it. it. Yes, that's yes, nice. I have it here, so. um, and, you know, and then kind of blending the artistry, so it's the whole journey piece of it is, is important, and, um, uh, you know, and kind of finding your way of, you know, what you enjoy and going through a process of learning and going to school and being exposed to different things and um, did a lean Tower of Pisa with a part, partner and I and because um, uh, you work in teams and so we did that and then when I look back on CIA I thought what was the most fun thing I did when I was at culinary school and it was saying well I really like doing that chocolate tower the lean Tower of Pisa out of chocolate and um, so kind of pursued more of the pastry aspect and, uh, mm -hmm. Then went to Paris and saw the Parisian chocolatiers and um, was fascinated by um, the idea what they could make and that there was actually a, a career and a lifestyle involved in making chocolates all day long. So that when you feel like work, it would just be something fun to do. So definitely, chocolate helps uh, sustain me and keep me keep me going in, in the, uh, all the things that have to happen to, to run a business and keep things going. So right. that's that sustainability piece of, you know, doing something that you love and doing something that brings joy to, you know, other people and to yourself by making it, but at the same time, uh, sustaining, being able to keep it going. So that's um, another one which, you know, happens with the support of customers and the support of community and people, um, you know, coming back. And that's, that's the key to the whole thing. So, um, and making a great product. It has to be what the taste has to be, what people like. So happily, so far so good. Not done with people still keep coming back. Well, Thank you, you, Linda, for coming back yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'll be coming back a lot more, yeah. trust me. Um, good. Good. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, we, we are ultimately successful at what we love to do. Right. 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 Yes. Yeah. And yeah. it's great that you're listening to your customers. So you have something here for everybody. You have a good right. um, yeah, yeah, you know, selection to, yeah. for people. Have, yeah. Dark chocolate, yeah. milk chocolate. We've even done uh, chocolate covered Oreos, uh, chocolate covered pretzels, so some fun stuff. Um, and kind of American based things, even chocolate covered Swedish fish. Um, so I, I tried to branch out from, you know, training in Europe and training and then I worked for La Maison de Chocolat for three years in New York and in Paris and was uh, honored to work and meet, work with uh, Robert Lanks and um, who's been in the chocolate business for 30 years and, and really a passionate person for, for great quality chocolate and brought back chocolate that wasn't um, a, so sweet and, and also balanced chocolates too so uh, mm -hmm. but with, with less sugar and where the filling's based on chocolate so here try to have the filling um, based on chocolate and then dipped in chocolate as opposed to um, a sugar filling dipped in chocolate so uh, your desserts are so, beautiful you know, i mean eggs, you're designing eggs. all of these yeah yeah we make they're them beautiful here. absolutely they're they're cakes and, and that's yeah training in paris and um and working for la maison was, was a wonderful experience and, um, then I was in New York City during 9-11 um, and that experience kind of also helped to shape my creation of this place and saying that, you know, life is um, short, is that, you know, you don't always have another day to do those things and that you've always dreamed of. So I was, had been thinking about opening a chocolate store for over uh, 10 years and then during 9-11 it was kind of like, well, wait a second, maybe you should try to go for it and so I moved back out of up to this to the Berkshires um, which
which I grew up in Lebanon Springs, which is 15 minutes from, from my shop. Opened in opened 2003. It up. So, um, it's you know, interesting just, how you, I mean, something so tragic really is what kind of, so. you know, inspired you to, to open right. yeah, the cafe. Right, yeah, yeah, and I have, uh, you maybe can get a shot of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right? well, not Leaning, well, Leaning Tower of Pisa was at school, but I did a uh, design for a new World Trade Center actually out of chocolate. And it's, oh, I'd um, love to see it, yeah. Nine, nine years old now since I did it mm -hmm. at Chesterwood as a demonstration for, to show what you can make in chocolate, in kind of a sculptural piece. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, sculptor Andrew DeVries, who's a close friend of mine, and um, how sculpture and chocolate can be in different forms. So Chocolate Springs, the name comes from the town Lebanon Springs and then Chocolate Springs, but also how chocolate can kind of spring into many different forms, and, um, whether it's truffles or um, ganache bonbons or cookies or mousse mm -hmm. cakes or even um, sculptures or even a design for a New World Trade Center. So, that's fabulous. Yeah. 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 9-11 to me, you know, wasn't as tragic as it was. I also, down in, when I was being in New York, it wasn't about necessarily getting out of New York City or away from it. It was more the inspiration to do something positive and that you take that time that you do have around, um, you know, and make the most of it. So right. I said, oh, I want to make chocolates and this would be fun. Let's, you know, Let's go for it. it and don't, you know, wait until another day and say, ah, I can do that tomorrow or something. So I'm... Um, happy that I that I did. And, and, uh, well, well look, rolling, so. yes, you're so yeah, successful. Yeah, yeah it's such a good so, thing that you did. Yeah, you're, you're. Yeah. Uh, it's good for exactly. all of us so, that you did this. That right, you took right. that yeah, initiative and, you know, and the, the, the inspiration. The beauty that I saw during 9/11 too was amazing. Of people helping each other out in the sense of community that I had really never seen in my life before. Was you know living in New York before 9/11, people were into their own world and everybody's going and going and, and doing what they do to survive but after you know in 9-11 people put aside their own personal agendas and came you know across the country to help and, and yeah. were selfless and um, giving and, and um, you know it's really a, an amazingly beautiful thing to see afterwards which I wish more people would remember that part of it than the uh, bickering over what who gets to build what there and Right. Um, but that you know that that idea of when people come together, you can accomplish great great things. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, yeah, it's very inspiring. Spirit, so. Yeah. Well, I would love to see your your uh, model and uh, okay, also sure. some some more of your beautiful chocolates. Please. Maybe we can take a look. Okay. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. So. Okay. What do we got here? Nine-year-old design for a New World Trade Center and chocolate. Um, Oh my so goodness, that's very that interesting. The twin towers would be split in half on a bias and then turned back to back um, with a pyramid on top and then a globe would be the um, high point. So the idea was that, um, I mean, I built it in about um, 45 minutes in front of people at, at Chesterwood and then um, it's over nine years old so it's dusty and not edible at this point but um, the shape still stands. So and, and I submitted it to the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation at the time and we had um, I think one minute to give a talk about it and everybody smiled when they saw that the design was, it was made out of chocolate so I'm happy to say that it still stands um, <laughs> nine years later so. um, and then the idea was that there would be a hollow center so you wouldn't uh, build on the site of where the other towers were um, oh okay so, so that's that the, the center the, the center part yeah, is where the other yeah. two towers were so, yeah yeah it's it really looks like the buildings on its way so they they didn't choose this design but it was uh, something one of my ideas. And, um, I like the, the thing to have a um, globe on the top so that instead of just some pointy little thing in the sky, the idea was to have a globe and just kind of show that the world was um, uh, together and, and mm -hmm. the, the sphere on the top. So Yeah, well, it kind of all comes together at the top. The two yeah, towers, yeah, that's yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, and then the yeah, world, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's very symbolic, I think, so, yeah, of what yeah, happened yeah, afterwards, right, you know, with right. people. So I thought it was a good idea, but they had... <laughs> Maybe maybe we'll build it in something else then, but uh, it was. Uh, yeah. Well, I really like it, and like the minute I saw it, I thought pyramid. I didn't, wasn't right. even yeah, noticing the pyramid on the to top, the but the whole past thing. And the pyramids and its strength. That there's there's yeah. a strong structure to it, but it's and it's simple, and they would to me have glass all over it and the sides, mm -hmm. and you'd have a lot of dimension and um, light coming through it, and um, yeah, and then ultimately have the globe and the highest. To me, the idea was to have the highest building in the world again, which. Uh, Hopefully, once that gets healed down in Manhattan, so will a lot of 
um, America and we'll be in better shape. So I think that's also another piece of the puzzle that people don't realize how profound effect that the event had on a lot of people and still until it gets, um, you know, um, rebuilt and kind mm -hmm. of uh, healed, basically, because it's that healing process, mm -hmm. um, and I think things will be quite a bit, so. Right. And, 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 and the so, idea of what you can do in chocolate is a creative item too, so at least I didn't have to go build the whole thing, I could make it in chocolate and just right. go from and there. So. I think that's fabulous <laughs> that you even submitted this in chocolate so, as yeah, your chocolatier. Yeah. You're yeah. not 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 being an architect, right? Right, right. No, Did I'm many not of the so submit were many of the submissions. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of architects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, this is fabulous. Kind of, uh, um, yeah, something fun. People you know, a little bit of um, so what are you gonna craziness, I guess you could say, but uh, <laughs> hey, <you laughs> something's know. possible. But it was a, a medium, and I was trying to figure out what to make for the demonstration. And so I said, wait a second, I, my design for the World Trade Center would be a fun thing to actually make. Yeah. And, so, um, and that's one of the things I love about this place and doing, you know, working with chocolate is that the creative outlets basically endless. I mean, anything you can think of, you can make it with chocolate. So here's the man, the Haiti. Fancy. Way more affordable than the real one, so yeah. <laughs> this is dark chocolate too. Yes, yeah. And the kind of shimmer on it. What? Tell us what. All That's this um, is. edible luster dust, a, a mm. coloring. Um, it gives it some dimension. Back, so yeah, you know? yeah, it gives it highlight. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Accentuates nice. the details there. So. Great. Yeah, and that's the neat thing. The food, you know, nowadays you can do so many things with um, color and what we call uh, transfer sheets. So, um, so oh, yeah. designs. Let's look at some there, of those. So, yeah. So, um, like this one is uh, Earl Grey tea. Mm hmm. Pretty, yeah. Earl Grey. Um, orange. Orange Grand Marnier, oh, Orange yeah. Grand Marnier has uh, music notes on there. Oh, nice. Um, Paris Tea. Yeah, oh, I like that, that design. I like the colors, too. Yeah. It's very nice. And then some classics. Uh, truffle. Yes. I've tried so your I've tried truffles. I've tried to keep some traditional ones. chocolate items, but also branch out and do some new things. So mm -hmm. from traditional truffles and champagne cognac flavor to um, now we have Lapsang Souchong tea, which is a smoked tea. Mm -hmm. um, we can do salted chocolates. You know, um, I like your jasmine tea. So the jasmine that's a, that's a nice combination too. with uh, yeah, chocolate yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Flavors, so. yeah, your yeah. covered fruits too, your apricots I discovered yeah, last California. week. Yeah, oh my goodness. Almonds. Uh, yeah. What else? Blueberries even. Mm -hmm. so, Main blueberries. That's awesome. yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. So, um, Joshua, I want to thank you so much for again for letting me come in here Certainly, to share your beautiful uh, shop and your wonderful chocolates with everybody. It's just thank been you. a wonderful day here. I hope people find some chocolate inspiration. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'm sure they've learned about chocolate and they've seen some beautiful chocolate and hopefully they'll even want to come take a visit here. We do invite people, one of my tag was it, to escape into chocolate. So chocolate ah, it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Thank you. For sure. Thanks Enjoy again. Take care. Take Bye. Care. Bye.